I'll try my best. Look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm not really positive about it. Good morning everyone. I'm just driving to have breakfast with my friend and at the same time catch up with her. I took Moose, I'm not sure can you see him in the back. My friend actually haven't met Moose just yet. So it's gonna be something new for him as well. I can already tell that today is gonna be really fast because just what I'm doing today is probably won't gonna be really productive. I can already tell that I'm gonna do a lot of work. So not ideal, but it's fine. All right, so let's just get some food in my system because I'm hungry. Baby, you should get to know me. Tapping into that good energy. And I'm more for something carefree. Power drink, have a seat next to me. Yeah. Touching my skin, got us both wanting more Red for my neck, got my clothes all over the floor uh, uh. Why can't we just start the place? Ooh, I love that Thank you We just came back from breakfast and it's almost lunchtime. Yeah, it's 12.50. There you go, 12.50. Jesus. We've been just sitting there for more than three hours and catching up basically. You know while we saw each other so we had a lot of things to talk about. Like I said, it wasn't gonna be a really productive day today. I had a feeling I'm just sweating my face off now. So I was just gonna jump in the shower and I need to drive to Kmart. All right, so I'm on my way to Kmart to get poop bags for Moose. That's all I'm getting in there. It's just such a waste of time. I hate wasting time. It's just the worst thing ever. But we don't have any poop bags left, so we need him <laughs> and he poops like he poops like crazy okay so that being said i'm just driving to kmart to get pull back spoons that's it i'm not getting anything else probably gonna end up getting something else as well all right Back in the car, I actually end up just getting poop bags and these things, craft paper, cardstock, craft, and poop bags. And what I did actually, I left my coffee in the car purposely, that way I'm not spending too much time in the shop. Yeah, still pretty hot. Alright, we can go home and cook some lunch. I'm back home just preheating my lunch. I'm just gonna have leftovers from yesterday, so it's gonna be just chicken with pasta and some vegetables. So that's all it is just chicken, pasta, avocado, and cucumber. And of course, I'm putting some nutritional yeast. A lot of it. It's just so good. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat lunch and I probably should do some work. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sit down and do some editing for probably a couple hours. I we'll actually wanna make chocolate brownies. I'll do that today. I finished eating and I thought before I actually sit down and start working, I should just probably make chocolate brownies and let them bake. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that now. 
I have some oat flour here, but I'm gonna make some more. You know, I just blend oats together and you have oat flour. That's just 30 grams. Definitely need more. All right, so it's 90 grams of oat flour and the rest of them I'm just gonna save for next time. I'll add around 30, 35 grams of cacao powder, some salt as well. That should be fine. Some baking powder as well, teaspoon and a half. And I'm gonna put some coconut sugar. I'm not sure actually how much I should put. Let's say two tablespoons. Should be fine. Hopefully. And I just mix it all together. My oven is preheating to 200 Celsius as well. Probably gonna be around 20 minutes of baking. Not sure I'll see how they do after like 15 minutes. I want them to still be kind of moist. So if you're gonna bake them for too long, they're just gonna be too dry. I'm gonna put some honey in here. Let's say two tablespoons. I'm gonna put some olive oil as well. Ideally, I would use coconut oil, but because I'm gonna use cold eggs and cold milk because I haven't, you know, took them out to get to room temperature. So coconut oil would just crumble in one piece, which is not ideal. So I'm just gonna use olive oil, probably around like 15 grams. It just helps to keep brownies moist as well. Uh, we're gonna use oat milk, probably around 180 milligrams. Just gonna mix it real fast. And it's gonna be six egg whites. So I'm quite good with separating the eggs without shell in it. So I'm just gonna do it straight to the bowl. But you know, if you don't trust yourself, probably use another bowl to make sure that you don't get any shell in your cupcakes. I'm just gonna mix everything together. And that's basically it. And it took me probably seven or 10 minutes to make. And you know, it's extra around 20 minutes to bake, but it's just so easy and you can just eat that as a muffin without the cream on it the cream on it is just you know extra i'm just taking my cupcake mold the silicone thingy and putting these paper bags jesus i'm so bad with names i don't know how it's called i'm just gonna put them in the oven and see how we're doing in like 15 minutes time probably that's the mixture it's kind of runny. I'm a bit concerned maybe it's a bit too runny. It's fine, we'll see how it works. I'm not too confident how they're gonna turn out actually because I don't know why mixture is so runny. I'm just putting 15 minutes time on and I'll see how they look in 15 minutes, poke them a bit, if there's something to poke, if they're actually gonna turn out to be cupcakes. So I won't gonna start making a cream. I'm just gonna see if they're gonna actually turn out to be cupcakes because I'm not really positive about them. All right guys, surprisingly, they're done and they look decent. I'll show you, they're just cooling down now. So it's just eight of them. I don't know why, every time is different amount you get. It's just eight of them this time. Look at that. So now I'm just gonna make the first thing. So all I have is some Philadelphia left here. I actually asked G to stop eating it because we had that in the fridge for probably a couple days and I bought it because I was planning to make these cupcakes and I needed this. And G just kept eating it. Oat milk and I have this sugar-free chunky chocolate which is I think pretty sweet. It has TV in it but it's not sweet enough so I'm just gonna add bit of honey probably a couple teaspoons not a lot i was just gonna make everything in this huge cup and i actually bought this piping bag from kmart but it's piece of fabric so once you use it 
you're supposed to throw it away i'm not sure never had one never used one so i have no idea what i'm doing but i have plastic bag as well so i'm thinking i'll just gonna try and i'll try my best to make this work okay all right so i'm just gonna start with leftover of philadelphia it's probably half of the packet left this much of honey that should be fine and for this i'm not sure how much i need let's see how five tablespoons look like and a teaspoon and i'm actually gonna put just a tiny tiny drop of milk literally this much yeah that's much better that's the consistency i have now now the fun part so i have a hole here <laughs> i'm not sure if it's gonna work actually don't know what i'm doing right now here you go looks like a... all right so i have this and eh. i don't know what's happening in there but here you go it's coming out so proud of myself let me just get all the cupcakes all right i have my bag have my cupcake let's try one oh my goodness that's tiny hole okay let's just do that well <laughs> would you look at that <gasps> beautiful no it's not yeah i'm just gonna do that to all of them then because that's what we're doing right well would you look at that well they don't look like the best thing ever at all actually but it was just enough amount of cream for all of them well that's the first one so that one is lucky the rest of them didn't get as much but here you go i'm gonna try one it's almost time for dinner so i'm just gonna have one i'm quite happy how they turned out hopefully they're gonna taste good as well it's really moist i love that word <laughs> Everybody hates it. A lot of people just keep telling me that it's a really weird word to say. I just love it. So moist. So moist. Look at it. Spongy and kind of still kind of a bit wet. I like that. It's not too sweet. So amount of coconut sugar and honey I put in either batter and cream is just the right amount I like. It's not too sweet. It's still a dessert. It has a sweetness, but if you actually like something really, really sweet, I would add extra coconut sugar because it's not overly sweet. But it's so good. You're gonna love it. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop filming my day here. Just gonna have dinner now, and probably we just gonna binge on some Netflix. <laughs> yeah, that is just a truth, so. Here you go. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!